For those of you who already fear the waters of the world, well I have bad news, there is something else to be wary of. It seems that a South American fish known as the Paku may be migrating to European and North American waters. The Paku fish is closely related to the piranha and typically is found in the warm waters of the Amazon river. However, for years now the migratory patterns and natural habitats of creatures have begun to shift as waters warm and climates change. There have now been sightings of the Paku in the Seine in Paris as well as the Swedes Lake in New Jersey. This fish can grow up to 3 feet long and has a mighty set of square teeth that resemble human molars. These teeth are made to crush and grind. It uses these teeth to crack open nuts that fall into the water, earning it the nickname the Nutcracker. However, it turns out that this nickname now serves a dual function, as there's something else that these fish love to sink their teeth into and those are the testes of men. For some men who happen past them in the water, it is said, the Paku is not normally dangerous to people, but it has quite a serious bite. There have been incidents in other countries, such as Papua New Guinea, where some men have had their testicles bitten off. They bite because they're hungry and testicles sit nicely in their mouth. It appears that the transfer of these creatures is not entirely natural, however. This can be seen as a British man was trying to sell one he was keeping as a pet online. And sometimes when people can't find new buyers for these pets that they have grown tired of, they simply dump them into the waters of their local area. Unbeknownst to them, this completely unbalances the ecosystem. This is because you are introducing a new foreign organism into the system and forever tipping the balance. The same thing has occurred in Australia with the introduction of rabbits and up here in Canada with the introduction of starlings. These creatures, if they can survive the change in conditions, tend to multiply and do very well as they have no natural predators in their new environments. They may also introduce foreign pathogens pathogens and diseases to the local animals and cause them to die off that way. They may also find themselves preying upon the intended targets of other predators that are natural to the ecosystem, hence cutting them off from their own food supply. In Texas, there is a $100 bounty for a Paku caught in those waters. The Paku is an omnivorous fish that is much larger than the piranha to which it is related. However, it tends to be sold as a pet because people pitch it as the vegetarian piranha, which is not entirely accurate at all. They have been known to make responsive pets, but it takes a lot of work, commitment, and the proper equipment. It's never a great idea to remove an animal from its natural environment. However, with shifting water temperatures, it may not matter. These fish may be moving on their own. I guess just as always, be careful out there, and I guess for men, wear tighter swim trunks or something if you don't want your testes bitten off by the Paku of the sea. Scary thought. I'm Sasha Wood. Thanks so much for watching IO. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. More videos over there. Details and links down below for more, I guess, info and everything we spoke about. And I'll catch you next time. Bye bye.